So yeah, here we go. It's now almost 5 a.m. and I know some of you are receiving your A level results tomorrow, so I wanted to make this video. And um, believe me when I say that uh, I've been through this process three times to be exact, because I actually retook my A-levels three times. The first time during JC, during 2014, and subsequently throughout NS in 2015 and 2016. So this is a video that I really wanted to do for quite a long time, but I never really had the courage to, or was never really open to sharing it like now. So I did it over the two years in NS, and arguably in one of the toughest units, uh, naval diving unit, as you know, like the Our Boys to Frogman show, and I did it as a commander while retaking my A-levels, going through the missions, going through Hell Week. So uh, in the past, I was, very, I was very fearful of indignation. If I didn't do well, uh, I would not be able to live up to expectations. Or I... So I vividly remembered when I was in NS, how in NDU you had to pack up the boats after your night missions. And like all my bunk mates were going back to sleep at 3 a.m. And I secretly went into another bunk, took out some coffee and I just studied. I studied until 6 a.m. And I, and I woke up the same time as everybody else and I was it was dreadful, it was tiring. But this whole process really taught me tenacity and anyway I have three A-level sets because I took it three times. So now I am going to tear one of my sets. This is actually an MOE set. So this is the one I got the worst for, which is I got C, D, E for my H2s, which is actually hor horrendous. So yeah, here we go. Liberating. Two of my friends who were private candidates with me and studied around the same time as I did to share with you our journey. Three, two, one. The result is good. Thumbs up, man. If the result is lousy, what happened? Boo! Boo to be happy! Thank you, fellow Singaporeans! About our experience as a proud candidate because we have did very badly for A levels. First is to comfort you and tell you that this is not the end of the road and that there are many options out there for you. And even when you receive your results, you may feel like absolute shit, but there is always an alternative and always a way to move forward. So about that, I'm an SMU base and I'm an NTU base. So we did okay afterwards. Like, yeah, ah, I'm so really really yeah. Wait, the question is which JC were you from and what was your original rank point? Whew. Okay. Do we want to get this? I don't want. Which JC? No longer exists already. Oh, and my initial rank point was 66.25, I think. Yeah, 66. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was from Serangoon JC. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I was from Yishun JC and my rank point was 28. Wow, Yishun ah. What is the ghetto eh? I'm in the ghetto. Ra ta ta da! Yeah, Jose! That's quite true. How do you feel after getting your A-level results? Did I cry? Did you cry ah? Did you cry? What? Both guys are so unsure. Oh, you got it in NS. Oh, okay, okay. Toxic masculinity. Nan ren liu, han pu liu. Lei. Lei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? What steps do you take if you have a ticket? So like if you're rethinking, what, what advice can you give? Because doing by yourself right is so tough. Like you always think that you're alone. You can't do by yourself. Like really it was a it's, terrible it's journey. It's a mental thing. It was so bad because like for me like, as a girl right, for like guys, all the guys are still in NS. So it's like, even if like you feel like, oh I didn't get to uni, but everybody's in NS in the same mm. like situation. Yeah, but for me it's like, stress. all my girlfriends, they are all like in uni, they were like, Uni camps, like enjoying yeah. hall life, like and it sucks. Like I would say, like for a girl, it's a lot more isolating. So that journey is a lot more like you really feel very alone. So how I like managed my time doing that was really to stick to a very like serious schedule. Like and I thought that I was like quite emotional. So like if I don't study, I'll just feel like shit. So I just keep studying, like study and study, study, study. Like when I take breaks, I feel bad about it. So I just keep studying. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Dorino Saini. Ha 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 I love to study. I had like, even for almost every subject except for GP because I felt that it was okay. And I actually met a few of my tutors through Carousel and it just worked for me. So they sent me back answers and then I Skyped there to talk about things. And yeah, I feel like once you get the idea of it, especially for, I think, um, because I was an art student, so I took Helm, History, Econ, Lit, and uh, H1M. 
So I feel that for like an art subject, right, it's a lot about understanding the concept. Once you have passionate about it, once you are able to grasp that thing, it becomes like a lot. So, so I think this is going to be a soft story for my, and I'm going to talk about it from the very beginning. I entered army in January, the Gen Batch. So I received my results in I think week 4, week 5. Uh, OC is all supportive of you. Yeah, that's what I told him, like I don't come to my school. But then he told me like, I, do, I don't decide where you go. So it was a gamble for me. It's like, you know, <coughs> as a man, you can still get posted into the mm. strong soil units. Mm. It's like, Inchek is the king. Yes. So I started to like, HQ, so like office. Mm. Because they have to do office job. Then once again, I, I, I told my superiors about uh, like, I'm um, taking uh, no, like, I think it's not 3 is a delivery, 3 is like a badge of honor. And people tell me like, well, take 3 times, I was like, I took 3 times, and I'm still here. Yeah. As in like, the facts, you know, like, honestly. Yeah. For me, like, I actually didn't really face also, like, that kind of discrimination. Like, my parents were pretty supportive. But, like, I think that it's more like the discrimination or, like, prejudice that you pay based on yourself. Because, like, when people ask you, oh, what you're doing now, they're like, oh, I'm doing fried candy. It's just not a very nice thing to say also, la. But I mean, it's you can treat it. You know, some people can treat negativity and like become like something like make yourself feel bad about. But it also can be like a motivational factor that you have to do well, like you need to do it. Yeah. But okay, for me, it's more of like it shouldn't be a con a main concern at this point in time because you need to just. I mean, when you, we take as private candidate, day, it doesn't reduce your legitimacy if you mm. do well. So yeah, you need all fair play, you know. You reach it, just all easy, can that's it. <laughs> and I feel like the three, like, be taking it as a private candidate actually really helped me understand the thing better. And I feel like when I was in JC, right, like the curriculum schedule and everything, it actually made me, like, hate studying. Like, because, oh, you need to reach school by this time, you need to plan your schedule, like, everything speaks to you. It's like, you're dictated by someone else. And, like, it really affects my morale for studying. But, like, it's like, you know, there's so many tests, there's so many yeah. tests, like, oh, after March, there's one test. And you're always studying for that exam. You're not really studying yeah. for the E level. And then the competition. It's very unnecessary, like, oh, you're yeah, actually, what percentile are you in? Mm. It's very competitive as well, right? Yeah, you, like, JC is this culture, right? Like, oh, who mm. mark harder? Like, hang on, no, for your case. Mm. I always mark the hardest. For my JC, yeah. Like, like, oh, who, who's the other yeah, do oh, this yeah. thing? I think people who know me in JC know I studied very hard, but I know results. <laughs> Thoughts, like, any reflection or anything that you want to tell someone else who's facing the same situation as you? Any it? tips? Like, what Sean say, you want to find a study buddy, I think that's a very smart move. So you get someone to to study with you so you can actually mutually like you know motivate each other. So secondly, <coughs> just got to be very self-disciplined. Mm. Go put your mind into it like no matter what other people do, like they're having fun or that, try, try and see. For me it's like I delete Instagram. Because it's like the last <laughs> last three months it's like oh I, 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 wow. just remove all the distractions and just yes, like, just try and face. I kinda did like the opposite of this, yeah. I always watch travel videos. Like when my break time is like I want to, I try to inspire myself as well. Like, people are living this life. I finally got my grades and I finally did well. Oh, it felt so felt so good, man. Like the level things I can finally do everything I wanted to do. And then like I think I finally got solid do, man. Like <laughs> I, I know agree, it's like well after my A-level, it's like this this like huge stone out of my chest. It's like I did the best <coughs> I can and I, I really like whack it. So like now I have no regrets and I'm leaving the exam table without any regrets. Yeah. I can tell you like the whole journey will be very tough like so tough like it's it's so emotionally wow. uh, like i was not joking when i said like all my bunk mates they pack up the boat because i was in md what do pack up the boat they like slowly pack it up then i will after 3 am people would sleep i will crawl to another secret bunk and i'll take out my, my notes and i'll drink coffee and i'll just stay away that was like it was not the toughest part of my life but like, i i well, when you finish it it's great man no i mean it builds your confidence in yourself like it builds the, the will that like as soon as I want to hustle, I can do it. Yeah. Really. And it's like after that, right, I used this like strength that I got from this A level journey to like my work stuff and everything. I just went, just do it. And I think it really translates to your life and makes you like a lot of a stronger, more like confident and successful person. Yeah, and adding on, I think if you were to be taking A levels, there'd be many, many times. I lost track of the number of times I, I felt like giving up. And it's just like, can I actually do this? Can I actually pull it off? It's in all these moments that you have, you have to actually believe in yourself that you will actually do well. Yeah. So the key takeaway is to believe in yourself. Yes, yeah. I'll, I'll totally be a different person. But yeah, it was a good decision. And the two things that you really need to keep with yourself is discipline and consistency. I think that's the two things that gets you through your levels. Any final tips? Balance, balance. Balance, what? Like, I know balance. I know balance. I think. 
Okay, like I, I zero date, I zero anything. I just quite quite extreme. Man. <laughs> I would say that is the one thing that brought me through this whole thing. Uh. Have a soy family. If they have a soy family, have a soy friend. If you have neither of those, they will support you. Okay, okay, guys. So, okay, so this is the end of the video. And if you guys have any questions or queries, you can always comment. Like, you can DM our IG handles. Yeah, you can DM us. Um, we'll put our IG <laughs> here. Follow us. Wink. Really Bye. follow us. <laughs> Really man, it's so yeah, you can just comment below and let us know like what questions you guys want to ask we will also answer it the best we can. Okay. Thank you so much. Know that it's on the end. See you guys soon. <laughs> okay, bye.